Well, uh, this is true of a lot of the old crates back when they had like, you know, regular magazine publications of short stories. Like, I feel like that that ought to make a comeback. You know, like they killed off all these short Wait, story what? magazines from like the 30s and 50s and stuff. But like, attention spans have shrunk so much. You know, who who wants to sit down and read a thousand word trilogy about all this shit? Like. Why can't I just pay a subscription service to have like the best of sci-fi fantasy authors like dumped off as a few short stories every month? Uh, anyway. It might be an interesting... I mean, I don't fucking know. Maybe... Uh, maybe somebody's got something cooking. I don't really know. I... <laughs> Who the hell would write these stories? And then, if they're like, like short stories, what's the any, point? Of anyone? It? I mean, people. I I suppose maybe short story authors already exist out there, where it's like, hey, subscribe to my Patreon or whatever, and I'll I'll send you a short story every month. But like, well, you'd you'd kind of prefer to have it through like a subscription service through a large company that like hired talent and looked out for people and stuff and like you could submit stories to them like it's kind of like with amazon and stuff like sears roebuck existed for centuries before amazon and like had the same model of like here's your catalog here's your warehouse and delivery system and stuff like they went under just before amazon showed up why did you get rid of these sci-fi fantasy magazines like it, we're just you just missed the subscription service model. You just missed the shrinking of attention spans beyond what novels permit. Like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. No, this is... I, I, I would think that you would... Well, they wouldn't know beforehand, so how would they... How would they fucking... I guess what I'm trying to say is, how would Anyways. they ever try and be in that boom if you didn't know that the boom was going to happen? And I mean, even if they're a short story... They just should have like, like, looked in their crystal ball and told the future, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Right. You're right. No, Anyways, no. Ringworld is a fun book about, uh, hey, wouldn't it be cool if like, you took all the matter in the solar system and bent it into a big circle? like somewhere around Earth's orbit and just spun the thing for gravity and built like cute mile high walls on the sides to keep the atmosphere in and terraformed the inside and just made like a space station habitat fucking jillions of times the size of the Earth. The answer is yes, it would be cool. Uh, you would need, like, exotic material to be able to handle the forces put on it. Uh, you would need... Uh, th this is, like, godlike <clears throat> Kardashev scale <laughs> four type construction project type of thing, but uh, it's, it's definitely not the first example of a... Uh, uh, space station using centripetal acceleration for artificial gravity. Like, people have been floating around that idea forever. I'm pretty sure the Nazis came up with, like, some drawings of space stations like that. Uh, I think people did probably before that in, like, the 1800s, drawn up space stations made out of bricks and stuff. Uh, so, how big is a ring world? I mean, is it, like, the size of the Earth? Or is it like three times the it's, size of that? It's the size of the orbit of the Earth. Oh, fuck. That's big. Here, I think it's sitting on my shelf over here. Let's grab it. I'll just read the fucking thing off the back of it. Uh, yeah. I myself, Larry Niven, have dreamed up an intermediate step between Dyson spheres. Do we know what Dyson spheres are? Do we have to talk about that? I think that might be a good segue because I have no idea what a Dyson sphere is, my guy. So you know 
solar panels. <laughs> yeah, solar panels. Those are cool. Yeah. Have you heard about the idea of like putting solar panels in space? Yeah. Like that would be cool and nice. You don't have to have the atmosphere refract it and you can have it like be day one hundred percent of the time instead of fifty percent of the time. Okay. Okay. Now imagine you add more solar panels to space. Imagine you just cover space with 